वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो दिस इज अ पार्ट नंबर थ्री ऑन डिटेल डिस्कशन ऑन टू ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन लिस्ट दैट विल बी हेल्प टू क्लियर गेट यू पी एस सी जी पी एस सी एंड ऑल द पी एस यूज एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन हिटिंग वन सॉलिड फेस रिजल्ट इन अनदर सॉलिड फेस and a liquid phase during which reaction so option a eutectic option b eutectoid option c peritectic and option d none of the above so basically into a peritectic reactions that will be occurs at a higher temperature and with low carbon percentage so in which the one solid phase converts into another solid and liquid at a constant temperature so that will be known as a peritectic reactions so just you can see the iron carbon diagram and the region around peritectic so just you can see at 0.18 percentage of carbon and a temperature around 1492 degree centigrade so that liquid plus solid which will be converting into another solid and by heating so this one solid that will be converting into liquid plus solid so just you can see here that will be the delta plus liquid at this temperature range so this delta or you can say delta iron in the form of solid plus liquid which will be converting into gamma austenite so here is the question is that by the heating one solid that will be converting into one solid plus liquid so this gamma austenite which will be heated at this point so that will be converting into one of the solid and that will be delta iron plus liquid so that will be representing as a peritectic reaction so on the heating one solid phase result into the another solid and a liquid during a peritectic reaction so the right answer is option c then second question a first solid phase result in a second solid phase another third solid phase on cooling during which reaction so first a that will be eutectic b eutectoid option c peritectic and option d none of the above so eutectoid reactions is a reactions in which one solid phase is converted into two different phases at a constant temperature so as from the iron carbon diagram just you can see so eutectoid means 0.8 percentage of the carbon is being present with an iron so around 0.8 percentage of carbon and a temperature around 723 degree centigrade so which will be representing as a eutectoid temperature so what happens by the cooling of one solid which will be converting into two more solids so here that will be the gamma austenite which will be converting into alpha ferrite plus cementite if it will be 0.8 percentage of carbon so that will be a proper mixture of alpha ferrite and cementite should which will be representing as a perlite but in general terms at this or you can say at eutectoid point one solid that will be transforming into another two solids so that will be known as a eutectoid so as from the questions the right answer is option b eutectoid the next question the phase above eutectoid temperature for carbon steel is known as option a cementite option b ferrite option c austenite and option d perlite so basically as per the iron carbon diagram and at a eutectoid or you can say 0.8 percentage of carbon and the temperature range of the 723 so just above the eutectoid points so it will be the formation of austenite so just you can see as per the iron carbon diagram so this is the point of eutectoid and above of this point so it will be the formation of austenite phase so the right answer is option c austenite then next question 
वॉट इज गिप्स फेज रूल फॉर जनरल सिस्टम ऑप्शन ए पी इज इक्वल टू सी माइनस वन माइनस एफ ऑप्शन बी पी इज इक्वल टू सी प्लस वन माइनस एफ ऑप्शन सी पी प्लस एफ डेट विल बी इक्वल टू सी माइनस टू एंड ऑप्शन डी पी प्लस एफ डेट विल बी इक्वल टू सी प्लस टू सो बेसिकली the number of degree of freedoms so that will be representation of f so number of independently variable factors number of component systems c and the number of phases into the equilibrium so that will be representation as a p so as from the gives that will be making a relations of phase number of variables and the component systems so as per the gives that will be p plus f that will be equal to c plus So the right answer is option D. The next, what is the hardest phase of FEC system? Option A, graphite. Option B, cementite. Option C, martensite. And option D, bainite. So as from the iron carbon systems, the cementite, which will be having the highest phase in a iron carbon systems. Where a martensite, which is not a phase, because it will be metastable into a nature, so that will be the as per the iron carbon diagram, which will be cementite. So the right answer is option B. The next, what is eutectoid temperature? Option A, seven twenty three degrees centigrade. Option B, seven sixty eight degrees centigrade. Option C double one four six degree centigrade, and option D one four nine five degree centigrade. So basically, you take to a temperature that will be around seven twenty three for heating as well as a cooling. So that will be depends upon the you take to a point for iron carbon diagram. It will be at point eight percentage of carbon and around seven twenty three degree centigrade. So this point it will be known as a you take to a. Point. So this temperature it will be known as a eutectoid temperature. So seven twenty three. So the right answer is option A. The next question: What is the phenomenon involved in a phase transformation? Option A: nucleation. Option B: growth. Option C: fission. And option D: nucleations and growth. So basically, the formation of the nucleations or tiny particles of new phase. And that will be nucleations and increasing in the size of the nucleations at the expense of the parent phase is its growth. So the right answer is nucleations and its growth. So the option D. The next question: How many types of nucleations processes are there, and what are they? Option A: fusion and fission. Option B: heterogeneous and homogeneous. Option C. heterogeneous and fusion and option d fusion fission heterogeneous and homogeneous so basically two types of nucleations heterogeneous and homogeneous whereas fission and fission are a nuclear reactions so if it will be talking about pure metals so it always makes a homogeneous but if it will be the binary system so it always makes a heterogeneous nucleations So the right answer is option B, heterogeneous and homogeneous. So in case of the one component systems that will be homogeneous and two component systems that will be heterogeneous. So the right answer is B. The next question: the eutectic mixture of austenite, or we can say gamma phase, and cementite, or we can say Fe3C, is known as option A, ladeburite; option B, perlite. Option C, hyper and hypo eutectoid steel, and option D, cast iron. So just you can see, into the explanation part, the eutectic reactions that will be take place at around double one three zero degree centigrade. So at that eutectic reactions, that liquid phase which will be having a maximum solubility of carbon into iron that will be four point three percent, and the it will be makes a gamma which will be having a maximum solubility. Around two percentage of carbon and cementite, which will be having a maximum solubility around six point six seven. So liquid phase that will be converting into two more solid. 
so two more solid that will be known as a gamma austenite and cementite so the eutectic mixture of gamma austenite and cementite which will be known as a ledeburite so basically that will be forms at a eutectic point so just you can see at 4.3 percentage of carbon and around 11 30 degree centigrade so that 100 percent liquid which will be transforming into gamma austenite and cementite so that will be making a proper mixture which will be known as a ledeburite so eutectic means it will be forms a ledeburite suppose in some questions like it will be eutectoid so it will be makes a pearlatic structure so here is the question is related related with a eutectic mixture so it makes a option a ledeburite the next question Compositions right and left of 0.8 percentage of carbon of perlite are called as ledeburite, perlite, hyper and hypoeutectoid steel, and ferrite. So the hypoeutectoid steel that will be alpha ferrite plus perlite, and for hypoeutectoid it will be cementite plus perlite. So just you can see this is a point of 0.8 percentage of carbon so before that 0.8 percentage of carbon it would be forms perlite plus alpha ferrite and after perlite or you can say after 0.8 percentage of carbon that will be perlite plus cementite so basically the right answer is it will be hyper and hypoeutectoid steel so the before perlitic it will be known as a hypoeutectoid steel and after perlite or you can say after 0.8 percentage that will be a hyper eutectoid steel so the right answer is option c the next compositions above 2.1 percent carbon is called as option a ledeburite option c b perlite option c hyper and hypo eutectoid steel and option d cast iron so basically compositions up to 2 percentage of carbon are considered as a steels and beyond this it is considered as a cast iron so just you can see as per the ion carbon diagram after two percentage of carbon is being present into the iron so that will be the category of cast iron so the right answer is option d cast iron the next question finer size perlite is called as option a trostite option b ledeburite option c ferrite and option d sorbite so basically with a finer size perlitic structure that will be having a sorbite kind of structure and very fine size of perlite which will be known as a trostite so here that will be the finer size of the perlite which will be a sorbite kind of structure so the right answer is option d the next time temperature transformation diagrams are drawn for option a iron option b only steels option c manganese and option d any alloy so basically ttt diagrams are drawn for only a steels and only on steels of the constant compositions at time is to be taken so the right answer is option b only for the steels the next steels with different carbon contains shows a different time temperature transformation diagram option a true and option b false so yes the above statement is absolutely right because steels with a different carbon contains shows a different ttt diagrams so the right answer is option a the next what is the dimensional accuracy in powder metallurgy option a low option b medium option c high and option d sometimes high and sometimes low so basically into a powder metallurgy process little or no machining is being required to obtain a finished products thus the process offers dimensional tolerance and a mechanical properties compatible with many applications so which will be having a higher dimensional accuracy with powder metallurgy process the next question wastage of the materials in powder metallurgy as scrap is option a large 
Option B, small. Option C, depends on factors. And option D, medium. So basically, into a powder metallurgy process, you should achieve a zero scrap. So here it will be a less scrap is being developing into a powder metallurgy process. So the right answer is that will be a small scrap or you can say little scrap or you can say zero scrap is being achieved by a powder metallurgy process. The next iron carbon phase diagram is a option A unary phase diagram, option B binary phase diagram, option C tertiary phase diagram and option D ternary phase diagram. So basically, the binary phase diagrams are based on two, two component systems. So iron carbon that will be depends upon the presence of the carbon into iron. So that will be known as a binary phase diagram. The next, which is the most important thermodynamic parameters in homogeneous nucleation? Option A, free energy by Gibbs or G. Option B, enthalpy H, option C, entropy S, and option D, free energy of grips, enthalpy H, and entropy S. So basically, Gibbs free energy is a responsible important parameter in a homogeneous nucleation. So the right answer is option A. Free energy that will be defining by Gibbs. Next question, below the critical radius, the tiny particles are which and are called as a option A, unstable grains, option B, stable grains, option C, stable embryo, and option D, stable embryo. So basically, the tiny particles of the solid forms with get stabilized only when it achieves a critical radius. Below the critical radius, it is considering as unstable and is said to be a embryo. So the right answer is unstable embryo. So option C. Then last questions. Process of forming metals powder by directing molten metal through an orifice after which it is break into the small particles using high pressure fluid is known as option A reduction, option B crushing, option C electrolysis and option D atomization. So basically the distinction of a molten metal into the particles by rapid moving gases or you can say liquid streams. So that will be known as a atomization process. So the right answer is option D. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.